on field work, somewhere where we're interested in. The first thing we would have to do is sample the soil. We would take a soil core um, and we would just take it and push it into the earth. And then when we pull it back out again, this section would be full of soil. And then that's the soil that we would take, put into a bag and bring to the lab to process. Then we would put that soil in a sieve like this. Um, and we use this so that we can rinse the soil off and see all the things that are in it. So what we're interested in roots, you get all kinds of things in there sometimes, but what we're interested in is the roots. Um, and then we would place that under a microscope like this. And that would allow us to look at what we're seeing in a bit more detail and be able to select the type of roots that we're looking for. If we have a specific type or just anything that looks living and healthy that we'd be able to work on. And when you're first starting, figuring out the difference between a stick and a root is actually a lot harder than you'd think. Um, we get little bits of grass, all kinds of strange other fungi, like plant pathogens and things, but then we do also get a lot of bugs. Um, when you're looking at a particular kind of mycorrhizal fungi, they sometimes form these like things called rhizomorphs, which look kind of like strings. They're strings of hyphae that have sort of weaved together, but sometimes you'll see like a long, line of something that's a different color from the soil and you'll be like oh, a great rhizomorph and then it's actually just a strip of plastic so that's always really disappointing. We would take those roots and put them into a dish like this, a small petri dish, um, and that allows us to look at them even more close up and to either sample them for some kind of uh, DNA testing or to be able to sample them for other things like making microscope slides.